Are you doing this number one mistake that's giving you incorrect lab results? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Rebecca Warren. I'm the Thyroidless Life Doc, and I have been living without a thyroid for over 16 years. My goal in producing this content is to give as much information for people that have had their thyroid removed and how to really reclaim their health, how to heal after thyroidectomy. And for those people that do have their thyroid, what information is really important to know and understand so they can protect their thyroid so that they can keep their thyroid. Now, I want to share this major mistake that you might be doing before your labs that happened with someone that I was working with recently. What happened with this woman I was working with, she had seen me originally a few months ago. She's from another country, so I gave her all of her recommendations and she went on her way. She, along with her endo, decided to switch her from a T4 only medication to a T4, T3 medication. And then she began testing every single month. But it looked like she wasn't finding a balance on T4, T3 medication with so glandulars. And so she was really confused and she was thinking about switching back to T4 and she got on a consult with me. And I agreed with her. When I looked at her labs, it did not look good. Her T4 was way low and her T3 wasn't just above the range, it was way above out of range. And I looked at these labs and I said, something does not look right here. This is not a trend that I tend to see on labs when it comes you know, to someone using a glandular. And so we kind of talked through what she had been doing um, and how it's been on this whole glandular uh, thyroid medication. And then she said something and I had to stop her. She had mentioned that she had taken her T4, T3 medication the morning of her most recent test. And so I took a moment and I said, wait a minute, if you did it for this test, how about the month before? She said, yeah, I, I took it the month before as, as well. And for over four to five months worth of labs, she took her thyroid medication before every lab. And that's not okay. That's the mistake. The biggest mistake you can do is not timing your thyroid medication appropriately when you go to get your thyroid labs. And I'm gonna explain why. But the biggest thing to understand is the half-life of T4 medication and T3. Now, most doctors, when they do tests, they only look at TSH. So if you're on T4 only medication, regardless of whether you take the T4 like Synthroid or level thyroxine, it's not really gonna change T4 very much. Um, the longer away from when you took that thyroid medication, the better. But if you're only looking at TSH, and you're taking level thyroxine um, and, and Synthroid, it's not gonna give a big variation, but, 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 you shouldn't be just testing TSH. You should be testing free T4 and free T3. Now, there's a lot of information in studies about the half-life of T4 and T3 and how it affects things, but we do know that if you're taking uh, your labs, if you're doing your labs after taking T4 medication, you can get an abnormally higher range of T4, free T4 on your labs if you're getting those labs done within a couple of hours after taking your T4 only medication. Now T3, it's even worse. We know that the half-life, well the half-life of free T4 to completely clear out your system is a couple of days, right? It can be different for different people. It can be different if you have you know, subclinical hypothyroidism, it can be different if your hypothyroidism is severe, but for the most part, that half-life, that clearance of T4 is a little bit longer, but you're still gonna see an increase of your free T4 on labs if you're taking those lab tests within a couple of hours, four to five hours after taking the medication. Now, free T3 has a clearance of 18 hours to 24 hours, but we know we can see a peak two to, two to four hours after taking the thyroid medication and it affects your TSH. It will make your TSH look more suppressed and it'll either make your T3 look within range or really high out of the range when that's completely false. The biggest thing to understand is that you put something in your body and it's circulating, your body's processes, processing it and moving it where it needs to go, it's gonna, it's gonna show up on your labs, but it's not going to be accurate. It's not gonna be accurate. And that's what happened with this woman I was working with. It made no sense because her T4 was low and she was on a whole glandular, right? If the T4 is low, I would expect to see T3 low as well, but that wasn't the case. She had taken the lab work 
when she was doing her labs, she was getting it done without knowing at the peak of T3 half-life. And so she was through the roof in her ranges and not enough T4. And the sad thing is that no one discussed this with her. No one discussed the possibility of medication taken before the lab test affecting her complete thyroid panel. So what's the best thing to do? I highly recommend to not take anything before you get your blood work done and then take it immediately after. I like to have the people that I work with and my recommendations are always try to get your lab work done in the morning, especially fasted if you're looking at all of your wellness panel, which I have an ebook for that. I'll share that with you guys in a second. But take that, you know, take the thyroid medication with you. Once you get your labs done, then take your thyroid medication. You want to allow over, you know, 12 to 15 hours between when you took your thyroid medication and when you get your labs done. Now I do have an ebook, it's the Complete Thyroid Labs Panel, and that doesn't just go and explain what each thyroid test is, but why, you know, testing fasting glucose and fasting insulin and vitamin D and why these things could be really important. But whether you have a thyroid or you don't, it's vitally important that you get the right labs done and that it's done correctly. You don't want to suffer like she is because of misinformation. Don't take your thyroid medication, T4, T3, especially if you're testing free T4 and free T3, um, before, wait till after you get your labs. Make sure to subscribe. Every time I have some great new information, studies that I come across, I'm gonna share it here, so you're gonna wanna subscribe and follow along. And let me know if you have any questions about what I've shared today in the comments.